Hi guys, my name is Frank El Medico Rodriguez. I'm here with SAE Institute, and today we're gonna do a tutorial about recording MIDI in Ableton. To record MIDI in Ableton Live, uh, essentially all you have to do is first go into your preferences of Ableton and make sure that uh, you have MIDI devices in this window right here, uh, in the MIDI tab of the preferences. Make sure that you have MIDI devices coming in, uh, essentially feeding MIDI into your Ableton Live session, and that they're enabled. In order to record MIDI on a track, you need to have track enabled over here. So now that I have that enabled, uh, I should be good to go. I just have to come into my MIDI track and rearmed that particular track. And let's test it out, let's see if I have any MIDI input. And there it goes, I have MIDI coming in. Okay, once you make sure that uh, your MIDI device is sending MIDI into Ableton, then uh, go ahead and arm your track and press your keys and you'll see that there is MIDI coming in. Cool, huh? Okay, so let's find an instrument to load up into our MIDI track. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load up a, uh, a probably a pad. Uh, let's see, pads. That could be cool. And you can load it by either double clicking while you have your MIDI track selected or by just dragging and dropping into the track that you wanna load it into. So we have All right, let's try that. So let's go ahead and uh, launch our MIDI, our clip, sorry. Just as a guide. And whenever you're ready to record, uh, because this track is armed, all you have to do is press the record button right there. Okay, so let's take a look at our MIDI and let's, uh, let, and we could do that by just double clicking or the MIDI clip that we just recorded and these are our notes. I can play it back. That's nice. I feel like this one should come in a little bit stronger and it's not necessarily quantized right to the grid. If I fold my notes, I can see that a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and quantize it. Command U, just like in the audio. And I could highlight that one note and increase the velocity. Maybe that'll make it come in stronger. And this one comes in way too strong, so let's lower that. comes in way too strong so I could you know nudge this back and forth so that they blend into each other there you go I like that loop so what I'm gonna do since it's MIDI I'm just gonna go ahead and select those two notes right there Then let me push this one note to the back. playing around. Let me raise those drums a little bit. If I like that combination of notes right there, I could just say crop clip. And I only have those two notes to play with. Or three or ten or however long you decide to crop your clip. Uh, and that's how you record MIDI in Ableton Live. 
I hope you enjoyed that tutorial about recording MIDI in Ableton. For more information, please visit our website at usa.sae.edu.